Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Music Room Live. I am Tony and thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and that you're ready now for the, uh, the Christmas season. Uh, obviously this year is gonna be completely different than what we're used to. A lot of traditions and the things that we're used to are probably gonna be either different or non-existent this year. One of those traditions for me is always attending a Trans-Siberian Orchestra performance. Uh, for the past, I don't even know, 10 years maybe, I have gone to see TSO as a part of our Christmas uh, holiday. And obviously this year the show is not touring. For the first time in 21 years, there is not a Trans-Siberian Orchestra tour. But the band is doing something really cool. They are going to be live streaming a performance on December 18th at 8 o'clock. You can bring Trans-Siberian Orchestra into your house. This is actually kind of cool because it's the first time ever that you get to see the full 90 minute performance. It's going to be Christmas Eve and other stories live. And I actually got to talk to the band's longtime original drummer, Jeff Plate. And we talked all about what COVID has been like for a member of Trans-Siberian, what it's done to the band, what it's not like touring for the first time in 21 years. It's a great conversation. Check it out. And be sure to check the links so you can check out Trans Iberian Orchestra on December 18th in the comfort of your own home. Okay, guys, happy holidays. Stay tuned. Lots more cool stuff coming up. We got vinyl unwrappings. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. Hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss a thing. I'm good. Good. How are you? I'm good, man. Thank you so much for the for the time. Sure. Yeah. Um, so obviously, this year is pretty different. We were used to doing the, uh, you know, the big telecalls and everything with everybody in the line. And what a year this has been. How how you get, how you doing, man? Through all this. Well, I'm doing fine. And I mean, the main thing is just staying healthy and you know, hoping friend, family and friends and everybody are, are healthy, which which is the case for the most part. But you know, who would have ever thought that something like this would come along and just knock the world off its tracks like this? It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all in all, I just kind of look at the thing, you know, the glass is half full. Things could be a lot worse. And in, in our case, where my wife and I are in a good place, my family's in a good place, you know, all my TSO cast and everybody are, are, everybody's fine. So, so feeling good about that. But, but what a drag, not being able to tour this year. Yeah, man. You've done it for so long. You've been with TSO since it started, looking like 21 years of, uh, of touring and stuff. How is it this year not? Because it'd be right right around this time when you guys be going out. So what is it like mentally, like, uh, this kind of adjustment for you, man? How is it, um, is there some good to it, or is it, you know, what's it like? Well, uh, you know, honestly, it was a few days ago where it kind of kind of hit me. It's like, I should be on a bus right now. <laughs> I should be on stage and... Here I am hanging Christmas lights up in my house. It's just kind of, it's all just very bizarre. But but to be honest with you, when, when COVID really started, you know, picking up steam back in the spring, I kind of thought right then, that, you know, I remember telling my wife, I was like, I'm going to be home this year for the holidays. I, I don't see us being able to tour. So, I mean, personally, I kind of had my head wrapped around this. Uh, it doesn't make it really any easier, but I mean, it is what it is. We have to... We have to adjust. We got to overcome, and we got to move on. So, yeah. so I, here we are, you know, in this year of 2020, and we've got technology, and and that's where we're going to bring a live stream show to the masses. Yeah, and that's awesome because it's funny. I mean, what TSO means to people because it's definitely one of the first thoughts when you start thinking about the holidays and the things, the traditions that come to mind. TSO has become one of those traditions for so many people, myself included, and the thought of no TSO was like. This is kind of unreal, you know. And you know, you have your priorities and things like that. But music is such a thing that it's helped so many people get through this. And you think, wow, no TSO. So having the live stream this year, um, December eighteenth, Trans Siberian Christmas Eve, another story is live. Um, it it's great. I mean, for people who can't go to see the show, and for people who've never experienced it before, what an opportunity! Um, when did the idea start kind of getting tossed around to do this? Well, we were we were talking about this back in the spring. So, you know, trust me, management was, they were all over this. 
I mean, between between management and the O'Neill family, you know, you, you always got to be prepared in case something happens. So by the time COVID started, started really, you know, like I said earlier, picking up steam, we were already planning for this tour. So then you have to look at the, the thing big picture and go, wow, what, what, what is going to happen if we can't tour? So, you know, management held out as long as they could. At the same time, the idea of doing the streaming show was, you know, that's been being kicked around for, for quite a while. But, you know, the trick with all this is, is you know, TSO has, has made such a name for itself with its show. I mean, we really are one of the most epic shows you're ever going to see. And how are we going to bring that from the arena to a television screen or computer screen, however you're going to stream this thing? But having the same people involved, the management, the production team, you know, I know this thing is going to be awesome. I wish I could tell you. I wish I even knew what this thing was going to look like. <laughs> honestly, I really don't know. But, uh, but, but thinking about this and looking around at the other acts that were doing some streaming concerts and, you know, how successful they were, so on and so forth, it, it really comes down to do we, do we put on a show just for the sake of doing a show or do we go the, do, you know, do we, do we go to all lengths like we've always done? Right. to make this thing second to none. And, and I'm sure that's exactly what management has done. Now, is the show, is it actually going to be like live? Are you guys going to be playing live on the 18th, or is it going to be something that's uh, already recorded and put and put out there? Well, we're going to be planning on playing live on the 18th. Awesome. You know, right now we've, we've got all our, we've got the set list. Obviously, we're doing Christmas Eve and other stories front to back. Um, so everybody's got that. Everybody's doing their homework. And I mean, I mean, granted, we've, we've all played these songs many, many, many times. Right. But this is going to be this is going to be a different lineup, um, combination of East and West touring groups, with myself on drums, Al Petrelli and Chris Caffrey on guitar, Johnny Middleton on bass. We have been part of TSO from the very beginning, and TSO was kind of kind of born out of the band Sabotage, which we were all a member of at the time. So. So it's us, it's the other members from East and West filling out the cast. And, you know, having said that, there's always some differences between the two bands. So there's just some things that we've got to, we got to work out on our own. And when we get together, we'll, we'll make the thing work. But we've done a, we've done a number of non-seasonal tours where it's really been one band with the four of us, you know, kind of anchoring down the rhythm section. And it's always a blast. It's always great to work with some singers you've never worked with before and some other musicians because everybody... Everybody's got a different feel and a different thing, and, and when you when it all comes together, you know it really creates a unique vibe. So yeah, it's something we're really all looking forward to. Yeah, this would be cool too for the fans because I, I love you know seeing the uh, the East Coast tour. That's what I've always got to see, and those members. And it'll be kind of cool seeing some of the West Coast members as well, and kind of seeing um, this this lineup. So that'll be very cool. When do the re- like to, the rehearsals start? When do you got when do you guys be in like the same room together playing? Well, it'll it'll be a couple weeks, week and a, week and a half before the show. Okay. All right. So we've uh, and keep in mind with COVID, we've we've got to minimize the amount of. I mean, hey, we we've all got to be very careful with this thing. Let's right. Put it that way. You know, nobody wants to get sick. We've got to be very very careful about you know. We've all got to test negative before we before we even go to rehearsals. We are going to be tested while we are there, so. You know, the more time that, that this involves, the more risk you have. So we're going to try to consolidate this thing, get in there, get the show worked up, get it ready to go, and, and do it. So it's it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a trying you know time doing this because sure. we've all got to be we've all got to be very careful. Let's put it that way. This is something that nobody wants to mess with. And uh, and hey, you know, this is a show that we got to make sure it goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, I know you know there are lots of bands before you guys, like Metallica and bands like that, who have done it first. And I'm sure, you know, TSO kind of looks at some of those bands. But I'm sure there's a lot of bands looking at you guys, you know, especially like with Kiss announcing they're going to be doing their New Year's Eve, and they're a they're a band that also does the big production. So I'm sure bands will be watching watching you guys to see how you guys do it as well. So I'm sure there's just a lot of pressure on it. But again, as a fan, and uh, you know, it's so it's going to be so good not to to miss T- TSO this year. And I think. I think it's going to bring extra because the message to the album, the Christmas Eve and other stories message um, is one that's really going to, I think have, 
uh, the the meaning behind it's going to be even extra this year. You know, the hope that the, sure. the album and the songs bring. So, um, you know, it's going to, sure, we're all going to miss not being in the arena, but for so, so many more people to get to experience this, I think it's going to do a world of good for a lot of people. So, you know, thank you and to the rest of the guys for, for doing it. So, um, I appreciate that. And, you know, we're really looking forward to it. To, to your point, Christmas Eve and other stories, you know, that, that, that story that Paul O'Neill wrote for that CD is is magic and when we first started touring in 1999 we you know we toured that album for 12 years that was the story that we presented for 12 years in a row i i think that that is where the audience really connected to what we were doing granted you got a killer band on stage you know the the, the, the production got better every year but it was that story that kept bringing people back and it was that story that Everybody connected to in their own way. That story helped me get through some tough times. So, you know, I, I know the feeling personally of how, how important that is. But but I think, uh, to your point, yeah, this this is a time. With this year that we've had, this story is the one that I think is going to bring a smile to people's faces and, and it'll make them feel good about, about the future. So, you know, we're really excited about doing this. I, I can't wait for the show. Yeah. And it's a testament to Paul O'Neill. You know, losing him a couple years ago was unreal, but his his legacy just continues to impact, and that's um, that speaks a lot about him and what he's done in his life. And for how many years into the future it's going to continue to reach people. So what an awesome awesome testament to him and to his family. So um, absolutely, I totally agree. Yeah, obviously TSO. I mean, you guys never really stop. You guys are always. Um, getting bigger and better like you said it's always an uphill you always get better and better with this time on the hands obviously there's a lot of work that's going into this show but uh i'm sure tso has got some plans uh for the future and i'm sure that this will make you guys better in in the future when you guys get back on that live stage i can just imagine the energy that's going to be brought between the fans and, and the band sure sure i'm looking forward to it i i you know t- taking a year off is something that was never in the plans but I, I think this is going to be an interesting opportunity for a lot of people who've never seen us before to see us for the first time. Um, you know, people that have never even heard our music before. I mean, this is a great way to in- introduce us just to a whole new fan base. And, you know, all things considered, I think in the end this is going to be a, a real positive. But, but to your point, if things get straightened back out next year and we can actually do a tour, the fans are going to be so fired up, and it's going to be so awesome to do these shows. I mean, it's, it's great to do any show at any time, but I'm looking forward to, to the time when we get back into the arena, especially the first time around after all this. Yeah. I mean, man, people are going to have some people are going to have some anxiety to let loose, so it's, it's going to be awesome. You guys may have to start in, like, October or something, man, and play, like, three times in the city, because <laughs> it's going to be a high demand. I know that, but... Um... Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm all for it. Again, man, thank you so much for, uh, for like you said, it's not an easy thing what you guys are doing to put a show on. You have to be very safe. Thank you guys for doing it, and um, what it's going to bring to the people is unbelievable. And, and thank you for your time to, to talk to us about the show, man. I really appreciate it. You got it. All Take right. Take care, Tony. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.